good evening. I am almost three miles into my seven mile hike. You can see the valley behind me where I came up, or the canyon. This is Harmon Canyon. And I am, I decided to film when I'm entirely out of breath just to show how real it is. Here's the hill I'm climbing right now, almost to the top. I just took an energy gel, which is helping. And because it's later in the day, the shade is so nice. When I do this in the middle of the day, there is zero, zero shade. So I'm enjoying the shade. I have my bell on. Remember, you can borrow bells here um, because of the mountain lions. And I wanted to tell you guys, remember I bought shoes, brand new, nice quality brand new shoes for this Grand Canyon training. And guess what? I have almost worn a hole right through the bottom of the shoe. And I'll show you where that hole is, almost going through. If you look at the bottom of my shoe here, it's right here. It's almost all the way through. So I might have to buy new shoes. I have just racked up so many miles on these shoes. <laughs> and um, I also wanted to say, I know I'm making two videos on the same weekend, but it's a free country. Time, 57 minutes. Seconds total distance 3.0 miles average pace 19 minutes 3 seconds per mile split pace 21 minutes 35 seconds per mile okay so 21 minutes for that very steep hill that's not too bad my fastest mile on this hike was 17 minutes and that was uphill but not as steep as this hill and I wanted to say yeah, it's, there's no rules. I can make two videos in one week if I want. So I am, maybe I'll make more. What I should do is make a video of the worst possible training that I've been doing. It's called stair training, climbing up and down stairs for 75 minutes. That is killing me, but that's a good thing. Actually, these hills seem easier now that I've done those stairs. You can see the hill right here that I'm about to go up. Wow, it doesn't look bad in the video. In real life, it looks bad. I'll just go with the video version. That looks nicer. It looks like a nice, easy hill. So I'll say, it's a nice, easy hill. No problem. I can do an easy hill. I'm almost ready to turn around when I hit three miles, three and a half miles, 3.5. When I hit 3.5, it's all downhill from there. And I was gonna ask you guys to make a comment about something, but now I forgot what it was. Oh, this bell. Does this bell bother you post in the comments if it's annoying to hear that bell or not post in the comments your opinion on this bell and in my next video at Harmon Canyon I can just mute the bell when I'm talking because my talking will scare away the mountain lions um I'm really not that scared of mountain lions and it's kind of too early in the day for mountain lions, but I like, I like to be safe. So I just feel like chatting because this hill is pretty steep and it's nice having somebody to talk to while I'm doing a very steep hill and there's nobody around. I did meet a lady back there. She was lost. She said, is this the road to the parking lot? I'm like, no. You're going actually the opposite direction from the parking lot. And I told her there's a fork in the road 
and you have to turn right at the fork in the road. And she said she had just completely missed that fork in the road. So good thing I ran into her or she would be way up here and she would be very lost and out of breath, probably like I am. Okay, I think this looks cool, look. I hope you can see this little mini hill over straight ahead, kind of peeking up. I keep hearing noises behind me, but I think it's my backpack. And here's Topa Topa. Sorry, I always scream when I see Topa Topa. That's it right there. I have climbed to the highest point, which is right there. It's like 6,000 feet, something like 6,600 feet. Um, I just learned at the Grand Canyon, we're gonna be doing like 7,000 feet. Elevation loss and elevation gain. That's gonna be fun. Look at this huge valley over here. I don't think I've showed you guys this before. I just wanna watch where I'm stepping so I don't fall off the cliff. Look at that. There's a big cliff right behind me. And you know, the number one reason people fall into the Grand Canyon is from taking pictures. So I really don't wanna take very many pictures of the Grand Canyon, because I don't wanna fall in. Okay, enough jibber jabber. Have a great week.